Hello there. So, two weeks ago I uploaded this nice abandoned church in the hype of both Halloween and Life of Death. Life of Death? Life and Death? Life, Death, something, something in between. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the little bit of a renovation. Slightly for the church, mostly for its graveyard, now that we have Life and Death. It's definitely a renovation working with what I already have. I look forward to building like a big, actual big graveyard cemeteries but this is just this little old church's little graveyard getting a facelift and i think it's sizable enough as long as you're not you know a black widow or <laughs> a mega huge family legacy player if you just have a few sims that passed away small family be fine just need somewhere for your vampire to hang out that isn't home also fine um, yeah, this bit is a lot of me replacing lights and replacing rugs and oh this desk would look better than that and setting up a little bit of a funeral, you know, area up at the end of the rug, up at the... I mean, it's not a stage, but <laughs> for lack of a better word, stage area, if there was a stage. I don't know what has made that puddle, but that is not the point. I'm very excited about the graveyard. I just, I love the ability to make all the little personal touches. I already feel like even though all these grave sites are unoccupied, there's so much personality for what sims could be residing in them. Which is, okay, yes, I, I'm excited about having graveyards and funerals. But I'm definitely have been more hyped for all the occult player type stuff coming with life and death. But building this is making me even more excited to be like oh all of the things you can place in a little grave and the little ghost in a jar and I saw the wallpapers and I can't wait to build an actual house with this because I need all of those crows and lunar moths and owls on like every wall in my house but it's fine it's fine I really hoped that sign had something that looked like a vague directional informational sign rather than a sale sign and I thought you know what I will not put a coffin sale looking sign outside the like nice nice funeral time church I won't do that but you could do that and maybe I would in a, for a certain circumstance I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah I've decided that this graveyard already has some lore just some. If you've read the description of the like synthetic stone or whatever gravesite, <laughs> well, its description is fun and definitely leaves you with questions. And I've decided that that's going to also have questions. Also, shout out to the hidden hidden tarot tent hidden behind the church. So you know, just whatever your Sims need, it's it's there. Whatever questions they might have, they might get answers. But anyway, the lore and the gravestone. So I have two graves in particular that have lore. One being that. Sorry, I get distracted by all the colors. I'm just, I'm just impressed with all of the options. But yeah, synthetic grave site. And I've decided, you know, there's definitely, the material used for it is questionable. We get that from the description. I've said whoever's buried there was clearly a questionable sim. You'll notice there's a few little details around it, like the graves either side of it have a little more space between them than they do like any of the other graves do. So, you know, it's a little bit like people want to avoid that grave in life and in death. Who knows? Was it a serial killer? Is it just... Was it a person that was just an alien who was perfectly fine in minding their own business but people don't like difference? Who knows? You know, there's lots of options. And then I have a nice little, there we go, abandoned, forgotten grave at the back. But you know, I like to think either a regular graveyard visitor or perhaps like the graveyard keeper keeps placing a little plant out by their grave that, you know, nobody might remember whose grave it is or know anything about the sim buried there. But you know, they're, they're, they're still thinking about the grave and going, you know, you deserve a nice little flower too. But yeah, it's, it's a simple enough little graveyard. It's like eight, nine graves outside the crypt. Nice little memory area. The little forgotten one. I've decided the grave up beside the crypt is... I don't know if you can hear that, but say hi to my aggressive radiator. 
but outside the little grave beside the crypt is, you know, definitely a little vampire's grave. May or may not be occupied or not occupied, but it's fine. And the llama topiary because I just, you know, felt like a lack of llamas. For I place no the items. Obviously there's a selection of flowers and candles. But I really liked the idea of being able to place some other like additional items. You can read into the little ghost in a jar however you want, but I like the idea of like the little ancient nectar. Maybe that sim was, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit too fond of the nectar. And I like the little plant seedling behind them, behind them beside that. Because I'm like, maybe that just symbolizes like new starts, rebirths, if you will. And then I put like a dog and a cat, the cat planter and like the dog ornament. I'm like, these could have been sims that were really big cat people or dog people. Or hey, maybe it's going to be a cat or a dog grave. You, you choose your, uh, your graves. And I put tarot cards in there and I'm like, you know, just the option to like bring a sim's personality to it. Because that's one of my things, like as a, as a actual like personal level thing. I'm like, graves and funerals and stuff should be way more personalized or more, I'm not like personalized, maybe not the right word, but more not themed. Like it's not, not a party per se, but there should be more essence of the individual, like, interests or things that made the person that it's all about, the person that they were. Like, I feel like it should not be a copy and paste type event where the name changes and that's it. You know, I feel like there should be a lot more stuff and things. I don't know, like, you know, if you were a owner of, like, ten Dalmatians, your entire, like, the, 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 there should be like Dalmatian spot print curtains and um, I don't know like Dalmatian thing but you know you know just okay I, I get it I get it I won't be an event planner but I just more personality in all things is my vibe <laughs> uh, kind of makes sense right and I love those lights I really do love those lights I love all lights what am I saying but yeah Enjoy some before and after screenshots. Uh, if you do choose to use this adorable little church and graveyard, uh, it's a little bit of a fixer upper. You've seen the upstairs, but that's okay because anyone could fixer upper it and adjust as your needs. Maybe a vampire does move in here, you know, maybe it becomes a true haunted home. <laughs> but either way, thank you for watching. This is on the Sims Gallery if you would like. It is abandoned church. L and D, but I'll put a link below and if you search the abandoned church for the previous one you'll you'll find me. My ID is shrimp too. Thanks for listening to my wonderful little ramble. Please tell me how you're building things with life and death. And until next time. Bye.